let's go ahead and calculate uh, the coordinates of p so we have uh, 4.1 which is saying that uh, let's calculate the coordinates of p uh, we can see fully well here that m is the midpoint of uh, the line pn right so if uh, we were looking for the x coordinate of m uh, we would say that xm is equals to uh, x of n plus x of p divided by 2 right uh, that's what we would do uh, we would be applying the midpoint theorem right uh, if we substitute the corresponding values now we're gonna get uh, 3 being equals to x of n which is 7 plus x of p divided by 2 so if we cross multiply here we're gonna get 6 uh, being equals to 7 plus x of p so minus 1 is equals to x of p right uh, we can see that uh, now let's find uh, y of p right uh, we're gonna exploit the coordinate m again we're gonna say that y of m if that's what we were looking for we would say y of n plus uh, y of p divided by 2 right uh, so if we substitute again we get in minus 5 is equals to minus 2 plus y of p divided by 2 uh, if we cross multiply this uh, we should get uh, minus 10 being equals to minus 2 plus y of p so minus 8 is equals to uh, y of p so the coordinates of p uh, is minus 1 and minus 8 right and minus 8 um, let's do 4.2.1 so 4.2 and then we have 4.2.1 so 4.2.1 is saying that uh, let's determine the equation of the cycle uh, in the form x minus a uh, plus y minus b squared is equals to r squared uh, so here we're going to use uh, the coordinates of m again right uh, 3 will be a and uh, 3 will be a and y will be uh, b right or minus 5 so if we put that into this equation uh, we shall get x uh, minus 3 uh, we have squared here right squared plus uh, y uh, minus minus 5 so that will just be plus 5 right squared is equals to um, r squared right uh, now we have to find um, r squared uh, so to find r squared we're just gonna take um, a point on the circumference of the circle and substitute into this equation right uh, or we can just uh, determine uh, the length of mn using the distance formula but then let's just substitute it into the equation so if we sub in n of coordinate 7 and minus 2 uh, we're gonna get um, so what are we getting uh, 7 minus 3 squared plus uh, y uh, y is minus 2 so we're gonna get uh, minus 2 plus 5 squared being equals to r squared right uh, so there we just have uh, 4 squared uh, plus plus what I think that's supposed to be 3 plus 3 squared so we have 25 being equals to r squared so now our equation will be x minus 3 squared plus uh, minus 3 squared uh, plus y uh, plus 5 squared being equals to 25 right uh, 4.2.2 so 4.2.2 is saying uh, let's determine the equation of kl in the form y is equals to mx plus c so let's look at kl is this line here which is a tangent to the cycle right uh, so um, uh, we don't have the coordinates of k we don't have the coordinates of l uh, but if we calculate the gradient of mn uh, then we're going to use that to find the gradient of kl right uh, let me show you what i'm talking about so we're going to say that uh, the gradient of mn multiplied by uh, the gradient of kl should be equal to minus one right uh, because uh, the radius is perpendicular to uh, the tangent right uh, so if we make uh, the gradient of kl the subject of the formula here we're gonna get uh, minus one divided by the gradient of uh, mn right 
So the gradient of KL will be equals to uh, minus 1 divided by uh, Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 uh, minus X2 minus uh, X1, right? Um, obviously, you can do this uh, separately. You calculate the gradient of M and separately, right? But then I'm just going to put it all in at once and yeah, see what happens. Um, so doing that, minus 1 divided by uh, y2 so let's seek n as the second coordinate right? so that will be uh, minus 2 uh, minus minus 5 so that will be plus 5 and then divided by x2 so we have 7 minus 3 right and then now uh, let me just put that in my calculator real quick and see what I get so I have uh, 3 basically uh, and then divided by uh, 4 right so yeah the gradient of KL is minus uh, 4 divided by 3, right? So now we can say that Y is equal to minus 4 divided by 3 X plus C. Now we can sub in uh, N, right? In order to find, um, yeah, in order to find C. So if we sub in N, we're going to get uh, minus 2, being equals to uh, minus 4 divided by 3 multiplied by 7 plus C, right? So uh, C should be equals to minus 2 plus 4 divided by 3 multiplied by 7 and this should be equals to so we have minus 2 uh, plus 4 divided by 3 multiplied by 7 so c is 22 divided by 3 right so y is equals to minus 4 divided by 3 x plus uh, 22 divided by 3 uh, but then this equation looks shady, so let me just substitute the x value of n and see if I will get uh, the y value, right? Ah, perfect, I'm getting uh, minus 2 when I substitute 7. So I think uh, we're good to go. And then the follow-up question, 4.3. So 4.3 is saying that uh, for which values of k will uh, y is equals to minus 4 divided by 3 x plus k be a second to the circle so a tangent <laughs> touches the circle once right and then a second it goes through uh, the circle so uh, this line here would be a second it's going through a circle this line here will be a second is going through a circle going through a circle going through a circle going through a circle so as long as uh, the line is going through the circle then it's a second right uh, but then yeah, I uh, don't think this question was easy at all, but yeah, let me propose something here. The gradient of this line KL is equals to minus 4 divided by 3, right? And the line we are also interested in has a gradient of minus 4 divided by 3, right? So let me show you something. If um, we shift K some units, right? and then it's somewhere here right it still has the same gradient right uh, then it will be a secant to our um, circle right and then we can even uh, put it here it will be secant to the circle um, we can put it here it will be second to the circle uh, we can put it here it still is a second to the circle because it's uh, going through the circle right uh, but then the only problem arises uh, when it is uh, somewhere here, when it touches the circle only once at P, right? Then it will long, no longer be a second anymore. So as long as uh, the y-intercept, right? The y-intercept is between uh, the y-intercept of KL and the y-intercept uh, when it touches uh, the circle at P, then for those values of k because k is the y-intercept right x is zero so for those values of k uh that equation will be a second right so we need uh basically the upper limit and the lower limit but we already have uh this value here right because we know fully well that uh, that value is from the line uh kl right and then that value is 22 divided by 3. so we already know uh, what k should not be greater than now we only need what k shouldn't be less than right and in order to do that uh, we're going to substitute uh, the values of p right uh, so we're gonna say that uh, y is equals to 
minus 4 divided by 3x plus uh, k, obviously, right? And then we sub in uh, p, right? Uh, we know the coordinates of p, minus 1 and uh, minus 8 from uh, uh, the above equations. So if we substitute p here, we're going to get uh, minus 8 being equals to minus 4 divided by 3. And then in place of x, we have minus 1 plus k, right? Uh, so k will just be equals to minus 8 uh, minus 4 divided by 3, basically, right? Uh, so k will be equals to minus 28 uh, divided by 3. So when k is between uh, 20, 20 what? The y-intercept. 22 divided by 3 and minus 28 divided by 3, right? That line, uh, y is equal to minus 4 divided by 3x plus k, is a second to the cycle. Now let's do uh, 4.4. So 4.4 is saying that uh, we have uh, points A uh, of some coordinate t and t, and B uh, that are not shown on the diagram, right? And then 4.4.1 is saying that um, so we are told that from point A, another tangent is drawn to charge the cycle with center M at B, right? And then 4.4.1 is saying that, uh, let's show that the length of the tangent, uh, AB is equals to, uh, T squared, 2T squared plus 4T <coughs> plus 9, right? I would like to know how you guys solve this problem. So if you did solve it, please, uh, leave your solution on the comment section and I will pin the comment, right? Uh, but still, let's do 4.4.2, right? Uh, this is very similar uh, to that equation that was saying that uh, let's find the minimum distance between uh, f is equals to x squared and that coordinate, I think it was like uh, 10 and 2. Uh, but then anyway, so let's solve the problem we have. Uh, the problem here is saying that let's determine the minimum length of AB. So we know that AB is equals to uh, 2t squared plus 4t plus 9, right? So, uh, because we have a square root here and I don't like squaring, I don't like uh, dealing with square roots, I'm going to um, square both sides, right? So that, yeah, I can easily digest the problem. So, <laughs> I will have ab squared being equals to 2t squared plus 4t plus 9. Uh, since we're looking for the minimum length, I can uh, derivate this and equate to the 0, right? Uh, because let me show you something. Uh, this graph is going to be concave up, right? If it's concave up, then here at the turning point, we're going to have the minimum value, right? So we can derivate this and equate to 0 and then find uh, the value of t of which we are going to have the minimum value, right? Uh, so if we do that, uh, we're going to get um, qt squared if we derivate in that. Uh, so we say in ab uh, squared, we're finding the derivative of that. We're going to get uh, 4t plus 4 being equal to 0. So t here should be equal to minus 1. Uh, let me show you something. Uh, because we're basically looking for the x value of uh, the turning point, right? We can also see that um, that x value, t, is equal to minus b divided by 2a, right? Because we just have a quadratic function. Uh, so this will be minus 4 divided by 2 multiplied by 2, which is equal to minus 1 again, right? Uh, so the distance or uh, the length is at a minimum when t is equal to minus 1, right? Um, but now let's substitute minus 1 into our equation and actually determine the minimum uh, length, right? So the minimum length will be, so we have um, 2 multiplied by minus 1 squared uh, plus 4 multiplied by minus 1 uh, plus 9, right? Uh, so AB will be equal to, uh, so minus 1 squared, so we're just going to get 2 and then uh, minus 4 plus 9. So we have um, 2 minus 4. That should be minus 2, right? Plus 9. So we have uh, the square root of 7, basically, as the minimum length of uh, AB.